Good morning. It is a beautiful August day. It's heading towards a very warm few days, apparently, here in the UK. Which is good. But it's not the UK I want to talk about. It's that place. The place that seems to have got stuck in my blood. Yep. Las Vegas. Now, I don't drink apart from very exceptional circumstances, and I do mean exceptional. Gamble, slot machines, yeah, bit, nothing special, not the tables, sorry, not interested. And as for having fun, well, uh, well, not so much these days. So why do I like Vegas? Simple. You never know what's gonna happen next. It really is a 24 hour city. You can pump, if you, you could sit, outside Starbucks on Fremont, sipping a latte, and watch the world. Best comedy show you'll ever see. Free show, go and sit there. Just sip a coffee and watch the world. Wow. But, Vegas has a problem. It's got quite a few, but top of the list as far as I'm concerned, is the cost. When I was there last year, I was staggered. The cost of things had gone through the roof. I know that everybody lost a bucket load of money via COVID. But they've made it up now. They're back. Vegas has been back in business for a while. So why the massive increases? Somebody's out to make some profits. Somebody's out to make profits at any cost. The customer service had dropped. It used to be customer service... A1, I saw stuff I didn't recognise there. So, what's happened? Why has Vegas gone down the wrong path? I don't claim to have all the answers, I don't, but I do know this. As far as customer service goes, you've got to listen to the customer, you've got to understand the customer, you've got to try and help the customer. Sometimes you have to say no to the customer. But even then, you have to be able to say no however. I can do this or I can do that. The service levels were wrong. I don't know what... I know the wages are appalling and people work on tips. I know that. And noted that both VP Harris and uh, former Pres Trump have said they will be abolishing uh, rules regarding that. Mm, don't think that's going to fly somehow. Um, but Las Vegas, you need to get your cost in order. It shows through the roof um, it's becoming a rich man's hot place and that's not what Vegas is excuse me I'll just <coughs> get my nose sorted out um, I really like that city it's fun it's interesting as I say I work at Heathrow Airport and it and Vegas have something in common you don't know what's coming next you really don't no, no two days are the same you get all kinds of sights, sounds, and goodness knows what else. But I say this to the city of Las Vegas, as a friend of it, come on, look in the mirrors. You need to um, get it right, because there's a thousand and one other places for people to spend their holiday uh, money. Vegas cannot suddenly become a rich man's trip. It can't. Excuse me. Hmm. My nose is running. Bit of hay fever, I think. Um, Vegas cannot be a rich man's paradise. It needs to be in everyone's paradise. It needs to be everyone's holiday home. Everyone wants to go there. So, Vegas, you need to stare in the mirror. You need to figure out why the customer service levels have gone wrong, and they have. Uh, British common sense available. If anyone wants to hire a customer service manager, I do actually know quite a bit about it, so... Let me know and I'll, more, I'll be more than happy to uh, assist you. Good old British common sense will trump most things any day, no pun intended. Um, but you need to look in the mirrors. You need to figure out what's wrong, Vegas. You need to make people want to come there. You can't just all be casinos and bells and whistles. There's got to be other things. I saw that there's going to be a property, I believe, without a casino, with just shops and eating places, etc. Good. Good. 
variety. You cannot be the same. You need to have variety. You need to have difference. You've got natural things around. You've got the canyon. You've got um, the dam. You've got a load of magnificent sights. Heck, I'm still trying to believe I stood in Death Valley. But I did. There's a load of stuff. And let's be honest, it's not that difficult to fly to LA. Well, San Francisco's within flight range. You could do a day trip to Frisco if some, somebody worked out for me. But you could do stuff. Vegas is a base. But you can't price yourself out of the people. Get your prices sorted, Vegas. Get your service sorted, Vegas. And get yourself back where you should be. Because if you don't, if you don't, all you'll get is the rich man walking through the door and the average man and woman taking a stroll somewhere else. And that's not a long, long-term plan. That's layoff city. That's employees being sold. Sorry, guys, we don't need you anymore. It's not a thing a manager ever wants to do. So, Vegas, life out. Sort your life out. Get yourself sorted. And let's get back to being the entertainment capital of the world and the world wanting to come and be entertained at a good price, not rip off. Come on, Las Vegas. Time to get yourself straight.